Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can change the working time, how you can give a person overtime, or how you can change the working hours of a person or a group of people. So first of all, on the screen I've got a blank project. I'm just going to put one task on there just for this example, so task A. And this task is going to be 10 hours in duration, first off. Now, I don't recommend you do this, but you can actually add resources through this box rather than going onto the re resource sheet, which is down here. It just does the same thing, but you can easily do typos and create two bobs, bobs with a capital letter, bob without a capital letter, etc., etc. So that's my resource going back here. So at the moment, you can see the project because it's 10 hours is going over onto Monday. So we're on Friday. There's eight hours work there and two hours on Monday. So if I go to the view tab and split the screen and at the bottom, I'll put resource usage. That one. So then you can see that a little bit better. And that's Friday today. And then it's dropping over onto Monday. Now, if I want to give Bob two hours overtime, what I can do is just insert the column here and just type overtime and then you get these options overtime work and then I'll just give him two hours overtime and then that'll snap back to show you this Friday and then there's 10 hours and you can see that on this on this view this split screen view that it's now coming back into Friday because he's got eight hours normal work and two hours overtime work. You can actually insert that overtime column in this. Well, I will do that actually. Insert column, overtime work, so you can see it, so it makes more sense to have it on your Gantt chart if you're gonna look at doing stuff like this. So that's how you can give him overtime. So what I want to do now is remove that. So I'm just gonna put that back to zero. And you can see that's gone back onto Monday. And what I'll do is I'll leave that on eight hours, but I'm going to create a calendar, a work calendar for a shift pattern, for example. And the shift pattern will maybe have four days at 10 hours and then three days off, which is quite a common occurrence. So at the moment, this is split over two. If I go back to the project tab and then change working time, you've got options here to create a new calendar. So I'll create a new calendar. I'll call it Shift A. You can call it whatever you want. And I'm just gonna use a copy of the standard. You could create a brand new one base calendar if you want, but I'm just gonna copy the standard, clicking OK to that. Then I need to edit the working week. So I've gone to weeks, work weeks, and then details. And then this is what I'm going to say for this example. The first four days are going to use these timings. So it's stopping there at, in fact, I better, this is Friday. I better do this, do it like this. Tuesday to Friday, it's going to use these timings. So let's use project default to start off with. Right, Tuesday to Friday, get it right in a minute. I want to use these timings. So that's the project defaults. These timings is what I want to use. So I'm just going to put that to 1900. So it gets to, so it gets to an extra two hours there on this calendar. Click OK to that. So that's the that's the shift A calendar. And then nothing's happened at the moment because Bob is using the default calendar. So if I go to the resources sheet and just double click on Bob change working time then you've got your list of calendars up here where I've got, I've got shift A as a calendar so now Bob is using shift A and you see the timing sitting there click OK to that OK again go back to the Gantt chart and you can see it's now pulled it back I'm still doing 10 hours but I don't need any overtime because my calendar says I can do 10 hours in a day and then that's pulled that back just to show it on Friday so there's two examples of what you can do to create overtime. You can either change a calendar or create a calendar and, and, and change the hours, the working hours off the default to whatever you want. 
or you can split the screen and give the individual that's requiring overtime the overtime in the overtime column or you can add it to your Gantt chart table whichever one you find easiest I personally would probably want it to be looking at that all the time rather than having the split screen so maybe I will just insert it up on the main Gantt chart table or create a table so I've got the overtime column displayed but that's all I want to talk about in this little video how to create overtime and how to create a calendar with different hours rather than the default settings so hopefully that was of use thank you for your time i'll catch you in the next one